23. We are less than two weeks away from that official start to summer. People who love spending time outdoors already have the scorching temperatures on their minds. And on your sides, Kenny Dar checks in with the Southern Arizona Rescue Association. Summers in Southern Arizona, well, they can be pretty unforgiving. And whether you're hiking, camping, or simply just spending some time outdoors, it's important to take the necessary precautions so that you can stay safe. I love hiking. I think it's really fun. I mean, it's a good workout too. While hiking is an activity enjoyed by many here in Tucson, the Arizona heat can be dangerous, especially during the summer when it's not uncommon to see triple digit temperatures. Those are very dangerous times to be out hiking or doing any sort of outdoor activity. So before you head out the door, it's important to exercise caution to avoid heat related illness. Amy DiMicelli with the Southern Arizona Rescue Association says planning is key. Hike early in the morning and when possible, always hike with another person. Tell me some things that hikers should always have. We always want hikers to be prepared. Um, so that includes water, snacks, sunscreen is super important. Um, sun protection like hats, sunglasses, long sleeve shirt. So I am here at Sabino Canyon talking to other hikers on how they deal with the Arizona heat. We brought sunscreen, water, a backpack with um, some snacks, and then I guess our cell phones just in case. Take lots of water and don't plan to be out there very long. No matter how prepared you are, DiMicelli says, knowing the signs of heat exhaustion is critical. She says if you ever start to feel nauseous, dizzy, or feel your muscles cramping. Take a break in the shade, drink lots of water, um, and do consider that perhaps it's time to turn around and head back. Reporting from Sabino Canyon, Kenny Dar, K Gun.